Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics and Neonatology. This video is about fish poisoning. There are three important types of fish poisoning. The first is histamine fish poisoning. It is also known as scombroid fish poisoning or scombrotoxin poisoning. It is caused by ingesting toxins in fish such as tuna, mackerel and other dark meat fish which have been stored improperly. Now if the fish is not cooled rapidly after it is caught, then an enzyme in the bacteria converts the histidine into histamine and some other toxins. Now these histamine and toxins are heat stable and so they are unaffected by the cooking. Now the patient may notice that the fish tastes metallic, bitter or peppery and the flesh looks honeycombed. Now the symptoms start within a few minutes to two hours. There is flushing of the face and the upper body, along with headache, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, dizziness and palpitation. Articaria and bronchospasm are less common. Now the symptoms usually settle within six hours without treatment, but resolve more quickly with antihistamines. For example, chlorphenidamine 10 mg intravenously in adults and 250 microgram per kg in children. Now, in severe cases, cimetidine and rarely adrenaline might be needed, along with oxygen, intravenous fluids and bronchodilators. Now the patient should be told that histamine fish poisoning is caused by improper fish handling and storage. So it is not an allergic reaction and so the patient would not have to avoid eating fish in the future. Second type is Sequatera fish poisoning. This is caused by a neurotoxin which is called Sequatoxin and this is produced by a dinoflagellate which is a unicellular plankton associated with coral reefs. Now fish imported from the tropics may cause this Sequatera poisoning. Symptoms usually start 1 to 6 hours after the ingestion. There is nausea, vomiting, watery diarrhea and abdominal pain. And these symptoms are followed by neurological symptoms which include paresthesia of the lips, tongue and feet, along with ataxia and muscle weakness. Now in this type of poisoning, there is a classic feature which is called paradoxical temperature reversal. That is cold objects feel hot and hot objects feel cold. Now alcohol make these symptoms worse. Bradycardia that is slow heart rate and hypotension that is low blood pressure may also occur in this type of poisoning. Now treatment is symptomatic and supportive. Gastrointestinal symptoms usually settle within one day, but paresthesia may persist for weeks or months. Now the third type is paralytic shellfish poisoning. This can be caused by eating mollusks such as mussels, clams, cockles and scallops. These concentrate a neurotoxin which is called sexitoxin, which is produced again by a dinoflagellate plankton. Now this plankton proliferate when sea temperature rises in the summer and this may make the sea look red which is commonly known as red tide. Now symptoms start in 30 minutes to 10 hours after the ingestion. There is dizziness, ataxia, paresthesia and muscle weakness which may progress to respiratory failure. Now treatment is supportive with assisted ventilation if necessary. Now complete recovery is usual within 24 hours. Okay friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative health videos.